Hello, it's Monday 11th of July 2050 and yes, we are still expecting some scorching temperatures with another very hot day ahead. Thankfully, there is finally a glimmer of hope with low pressure starting to build out in the Atlantic. As we all know, harvest has been tough this year with yields significantly down. Across the south, harvest is already finished and farmers in the northeast are nearing completion. In Yorkshire, they'll be making a final push over the next few nights ahead of the start of the Great Yorkshire Show. It is also amazing to see our first ever olive harvest. Congratulations to that new farmer cooperative. So moving on to today's picture, we're expecting temperatures widely exceed 30 degrees with areas topping at 45. It's possible we could see it get even hotter before the end of the week. The water situation makes grim reading despite the success of the Washburn Super Reservoir. How glad are we that as an industry we join force with water companies to make that a reality. It's no surprise that the latest figures show rainfall 20% below average, even taking into account last year's prolonged dry season. Despite Washburn being the size of two Lake Windermere's, water levels are now at just 43%, having fallen 10% in last month. With river levels critically low, those of you with Washburn irrigation permits or on-farm reservoirs are now on nighttime irrigation only, with strict quotas in force. Livestock farmers will be watching the risk of wildfires, especially given the destruction caused by the Kill the Forest fire, which has now been burning for three weeks. The risk of wildfires in the moorland areas remains high and key arable areas are also at risk, especially after some serious crop fires. Public access to the countryside remains restricted with a review due next week. Animal heat stress is a serious problem, so do make sure your air conditioning units in the our cattle sheds are well maintained. More Mediterranean trees in our livestock shelter belts are helping, but the impact of the heat on the network of licensed watering areas is starting to show. Heat health warnings mean continued restrictions on outdoor farm work between 12 and 3 p.m. There's no wonder we are seeing so many now using on-farm solar arrays and battery stores to enable more nighttime working. As I mentioned before, the weather picture is changing going into next week. This low pressure is starting to build out in the west, promising to bring some welcome relief for us all. It will come too late for many European growers though. Their supplies of fruit and veg and salad have been seriously disrupted because of the heat and this looks set to continue for some time raising again the issue of our food security. So looking ahead, we're expecting the heat waves to break after 14 consecutive days. Not quite a record, but certainly challenging for us all. Good luck to all us farmers out there today, trying to keep the nation fed in these extreme temperatures. Whew.